Good day everyone, welcome back to Minecraft here, yeah? I'm the Gamer Hobbit and I hope you're having an awesome day, I'm having a pretty good day and just as the sun rises on a brand new day, we are continuing to uh, finish this off, finish this, I would like to say an estate but it isn't really, uh, and you might see here that I have done a bit of work off camera just getting this is basically the layout of the path how I want it to be and it's just in the center here it will be a well and then the road continues off this way just need to grab some food and the road just continues off that way and goes over there and then you know the road continues off this way and it goes just over to where the mill is and so yeah, I, I also off, did off camera. I fixed all that, patched it all in, and got rid of all the lighting because no mobs can really spawn under there. And placed the you know, oak slabs on the, the roof. And other than that, what well, I was just grabbing some materials as well to get this uh, interior going. But first of all, I would like to kind of just go over this. Uh, we're just going to place down just an assortment of oak and we're going to grab some stripped logs some stripped oak so we're just going to just place uh, just some oak in here and then we're just going to just just turn into like the bark kind of or get rid of the bark layout it looks really uh, nice with the, the wood and besides I wanted to do some experimentation just to see you know, new path options and stuff in the future you know it's not going to be initial initially and all that so I you know, just wanted to do that see so, you know, it's pretty nice you know just gonna add another one uh, here and we're gonna do some gonna do another oak log like that and did I need a no that was all good okay so that, that's just a nice little path option that we're going to do here and then we're also going to grab some leaves and we're just going to place them along here now I'm not sure I feel like this would actually be uh, oak if we can grab do that just place it along like that and then just have it just like this just something pretty simple ish and we may even grab some trapdoors later but we're not going to really worry about that right now we're going to come in here and do some work because we did this in the last episode we kind of built a little attic way up here built the stairwell and we kind of finished yeah we built the roof and all that's good stuff uh, I would like to first of all let's grab a kind of a, a carpet so we're gonna just kind of do an assortment of uh, orange and blue because this would probably be the uh, villages, the town's main colour, and this I think is meant to go to one more. Yeah, because over here we're going to place a table. So that's what that's going to be. So when we come in here, we're just going to create a table. So we're just going to put stairs, two, two chairs here, and then the actual table itself is going to be out of. Uh, oak bark but uh, that comes out by one if I recall I'm testing my memory no it doesn't it goes it's it goes like this yeah that's right because this was uh, one it looks a bit fat though so I'm just gonna just turn that into the bark and we're just gonna place some oak stairs just running along like this just something like that and then in the center we are going to grab uh, if we have any some blue and some orange wool which we don't have that's right we can make some dye and if you do hear some kind of rustling uh, like as though there's an air there's a fan blowing in uh, my video I'm sorry it's a bit humid down here so well, down in, you know, 
Australia. So, uh, pretty much, we just have to deal with all this humidity. It's not hot or anything, it's just really humid and we just need to get rid of it all, that's all. And I'm just going to put this like uh, so. So we're just going to put a uh, put a blue and orange wool like so. And then we're just going to just place that dirt block there for the temporary use. So we're going to place trapdoors like that to kind of create that, you know, behind ish feeling that there is a lot of designs of uh you know chairs and all that um i did take some just inspiration i just looked up on the internet just all over the place and then we're just gonna just put some signs just here like that you know i was thinking about item frames but thinking about we're gonna use item frames to the actual plates and all that which speaking of we're gonna need to have a look around for some uh, chaos because we need to get some leather and yeah even though you can't really exactly sit in them right it's like yeah it's just there for aesthetic purpose pretty much and so we're gonna also I did also create some iron armor if we have any stone we don't let me go and grab some stone and I'll show you what I'll be doing next okay so we have a we have an invader. I don't know what he's wanting from this place, but you need to die. You don't have any other guests, do you? No. Is it the light? Oh, hey, there's a creeper. It must be. There we go. It must be the lighting up here. Ah, oh, because that's, that's a seven. And this is, oh, they must be spawning from up here. Gotcha. Okay. Well, they won't be spawning whilst we're down here. So what I was thinking was getting some armor stands and equipping them with a full suit of iron gear. Please, Mojang, make it so that armor stands can have a sword without using any commands and whatnot. I might actually do that, you know, with commands, you know, Put an armor stand there with a weapon just so it it looks cooler because why not <laughs> so we're just gonna just put some of this away and next up we're gonna probably oh yeah at the back there is uh some leaves so we got some birch and what we're gonna do is if we have any fences oak fences there we go we're just gonna just put them at the back for just some decoration purposes, just like that. And then we'll also grab the spruce trap doors and place them along the front, just like this, even though that they seem to be changing direction every single time, this one does. There we go, <laughs> they're exactly the same. Um, okay, so we're just gonna put the stone hole away and and then we'll just create another suit of iron armor. But as well, what I would like to do is I'm going to go and look for some cows to see if we can acquire any more leather. So I will go searching. Yeah, let me go searching. I'll, I'll try this way. I'll try into the, the forest and all that because when I was there. Uh, I did have some luck with some cows, but I I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and find some more. So I'll get back with you guys once I've found some leather, or if there's any interesting stuff over there. So I'll get back to you guys in just a brief moment. Oh, guess what, people? Guess what we found? A village. Oh, and he's running at me. How the how the heck did you know I was there? I didn't even show up at your doorstep. I was just looking. I don't even know what I did wrong to that dude. But anyway, I was. Our location is off over there, so I did find some cows, but as usual, I don't have luck with leather. So I was just having a look around and I found this village, and it seems like all of them are infected. It looks like. Well, that one was. That villager is. But we will gladly take your crops, but I have no idea how on earth you guys got infected. It, it's, it's 
weird. No clue. No clue why. But uh, I'll gladly take your stuff. And just, just put them back there. See, look at this guy. He's burning up too. What the heck's wrong with these dudes? Oh, we're quarantining. We're quarantining this dude. He's staying. Even though he might despawn, but... Like, why? Why? Why are you... Why are you infected? Why, why are all you dudes infected? See, look! There's more of them! I have no idea. Where on earth did you guys... Why on earth did you guys just get infected? Or is this one of those ones which just actually become an infected village? Someone please let me know down in the uh, comments. Because surely I am not in the range. You're staying in there. Surely I'm not in the range that these guys can get infected. I, I, I doubt it, but I think... Uh, I, I thought that was only in the Bedrock Edition. Or the in which the... You find villages which are already infected by zombie dudes. So I have no clue, so please let me know. Good thing though, quite a few of these guys are already kind of locked away. So I don't need to worry about them, except quite a few of them did die. So we're just going to breed you guys up. And we're going to kill some of you guys. Because I need the... Uh, uh, we need the leather. We need the leather. Please, uh, give leather? No leather? Oh, no leather. And, is there, a, is there a dude in, there is a dude in there. I was just wondering where the heck that dude was. Uh, and we'll kill you. Sorry, I need the leather. Three, and it's about, it's getting close to night. And we'll just kill this one, two. Oh, good, five leather, alrighty. Oh, and there's a pink sheep. There's a pink sheep, everyone. Pink sheep. The pink sheep has arrived. Okay. Well, I'm gonna breed you with you to see if you grab another pink sheep. You do. Okay. I'm screenshotting you too. <laughs> uh, let's just breed these two up. So I'm gonna have a look. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So I'm gonna have a quick little another look around just to see if there's any more cows and then I'll head back and I'll meet you guys back at base alrighty guys I'm back and is there no guests there's an enderman okay he's up here good uh, well not good but we're not gonna kill him because it's an enderman so I did grab some more uh, leather and I did get these golden boots, Feather Falling 3, it's pretty good for what I'm at at the moment. So, we're just going to hold on to them and see if we can get anything from them. So, we're just going to make some item frames and have we got... Let's grab an apple. And then we're just going to go in here and uh, place, place them as plates. Kind of nowadays with 1.13, it's kind of a, an old trick. Well, not an old trick, but with um, it's kind of a new trick, I suppose. You know, placing them, but a lot of people do it, so there's no, there's no other block you can use for that, so yeah. And then we're just gonna put the gunpowder away, and did we have any? We did have some flower pots, and we're just gonna kind of an older trick, we're gonna use them as, you know, um, Put on the other side. Yeah, there's uh, little drinks, pretty much. And yeah, I don't know. The, the table is pretty good. You know, it's fairly done. And we're gonna also try to uh, do a little, kind of a little cooktop over here, cooking pot. And we do have some iron, so we're gonna use some iron bars. And we're just gonna just kind of get it so it just hangs from this area. We, we could always just do that, but that looks a bit weird, so we're just going to do this and then fill it up with water and then once we get access to the nether, which uh, 
don't get me wrong, it will be soon. We're just, uh, I'm just, I don't need to go into the nether at the moment, so that's why. This is probably one of the main reasons, so, you know, just so we can do something like that and have the fire going underneath it. And there is one rule, or one uh, command that we'll be using for that, or game rule, I suppose, which is turning off the, uh, what do we call it, the uh, fire spread. We're turning that off because I don't want the entire place to go down in flames, so it's a pretty, pretty straightforward argument there. And a lot of build builders, you know, turn it off because, you know, why not? It's much easier. Uh, so we're just going to put some trapdoors up here, which I forgot to do. And uh, up here, there's going to be a bedroom, I decided. So if we have any wool left, which we do. We have plenty of. And do we have any dye left? Yes, we do. Well, we may have enough. Two, four. No, that's not enough. We need to grab. Can this. Where's that bone meal? Here. Is this gonna give us a rose? Yes, it does! It gives us more than enough but we're just gonna just kind of trim this a bit we're gonna use that for the front anyway just so it yeah, looks a bit more natural uh, just gonna do this and we're just gonna make not with this I'm gonna make some more orange dye and let's turn that to into wool actually yeah that's more than enough I don't know why I just made all that, because we're just going to be making two beds with that. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm a bit uh, stupid. I was going to say a bit special. Uh, so we're just going to make two beds. One's going to be blue and one orange. And then we're just going to grab the spruce. The spruce slabs, we're just going to come back in here. We have, we have fences, right? Yeah. So we're just going to kind of do one of these bedrooms in which... Uh, it's going to come over here. The actual bed would just be like here, and then we're just gonna place kind of just you know like a little outline all around. I'm just gonna put little stairs leading up to it, and then we're just gonna place some fences which go up to the roof. I am not sure of whether they should be oak or spruce, so I feel like spruce probably would go better. So I'll, I'll just see how it'll look. And I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. I adjusted the. Uh, I replaced the poles with spruce. And I think it's much better. It doesn't blend into the roof, even though it blends a little bit more into the floor. But and the walls. But that's that, I suppose. And I see our little friend here is enjoying it a bit. Uh, so we're gonna leave him be. Let's see if he despawns, but I doubt he will anytime soon. So what we're gonna do now? is we're gonna grab the birch leaves. Do we have any more flower pots? We need one. Okay, that's right. We've got enough brick uh, from quite a while ago actually. And so we're just gonna go and just make uh, just the rest of these. Just turn the rest of them into flower pots and we're gonna use them kind of at the back as a little uh, garden overhang I suppose. You know like sometimes you know uh, in houses and stuff there's little Overhangs which come from the roofs. Let's just make that many. Let's just make all that. And we're gonna need. Do we have the any oak? Yes, we do. We don't need that much. And we put the arrow away. And where's the iron bars? There they are. Okay. And then we're just gonna grab. Uh, let's grab. A, yeah, we'll just use the sapling. And we're gonna use like a dandelion. Something along these lines. Don't worry, I'll rearrange all this stuff. <laughs> I'll rearrange my inventory. Uh, we have some dirt. Right, okay. And we're just going to come up here. And what we're going to do is... is we're going to just pull these down. This one's going to be a shorter one. And we're going to put it to about here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the oak and pull it all along this way. And and we're just gonna, just, oh, yeah. 
I thought that would happen. <laughs> and we're just gonna just move that. We're just gonna break this block. And we're just gonna replace that one. And we're just gonna turn it all into strip logs. And then, even though you won't really see it from the angle that it was intending of, because we're gonna place trapdoors all underneath. And a trapdoor on the. Uh, not there. We're gonna place a trapdoor on the sides as well. And can we get we can get along here. Okay. That's good. And then we're just gonna to place it like that. And then we just place trapdoors all along. Yeah, you can't really see it, but from above it looks it doesn't look too bad. So now we're just gonna grab a flower pot and we're just gonna place you know like a birch sapling in there. And then we're just gonna kind of repeat that to the other side. We're just gonna put it over there. Just so it kind of just adds a bit more to the back and I will show you once that is done. So this is what the back looks like now. It looks a lot better than what it was. It's not as flat and you know these little garden overhangs just add some just nice detail just add makes it feel like as though it's not two dimensional or one dimensional. Uh, so I added a secondary garden overhang here and I dropped it down a little bit by one and used a dandelion as well and then I also just add those leaf bushes with the trapdoors on top and I also just put some bone meal to grass here and I also extended it as well as you can see by the uh, dirt still so I might need to extend this off camera the, the shoreline there and like other than that, the, the, the back it looks like it looks done. Overall, most of the interior I feel like is done too. So what I might do is uh, I think we've got one more furniture type thing we're gonna do, and I just realized as well as these guys. Uh, so kind of I'll do a little bit of the backstory here. I won't do all of it. Uh, just real briefly, these guys here, the people who live in this estate, they are kind of the owners of this wheat farm here in the farmhouse. And basically, that was basically uh, pretty much all their source of income for this little village. And after a little crisis which happened, uh, these guys got greedy. They took all the power of all the wheat. And basically, most of the other people of town... Uh, they haven't really been too impacted by it yet, but they are starting to become more desperate for resources. So these, oh, I'll add another house over there as well, which we'll probably do in the next episode. Uh, they are not as wealthy, so you know, they're starting to you know, you know, become more desperate for food. Whilst these guys, they have all this pretty much. They all agree they don't really want to share it. They give them like small rations and you know, all that cruel stuff. So, yeah, it's not too fun for these guys indeed. Uh, I, wanna, I was thinking of adding a little chandelier, but I don't know how that would turn out. But, like, I feel like adding a little light thing here. I don't know, it just came to my mind, so... I feel like possibly bring some fence posts down. And what we could do... Just an experiment. We're just gonna grab these slabs and wrap them around all of these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some torches. Uh, I don't know how that will actually work. It looks a lot really like more of a modern light source. So thinking about it now, I might just remove <laughs> most of them. Uh, so we're just gonna just do all this, just get rid of all of this, and what we might do instead is try and do like a little. Uh, so we're gonna do. That's the wrong block. So we're gonna bring this down. Oh, I wish if I can uh, that enderman can like be quiet. So we're just gonna grab a thing like this. Torches can go under here, right? Or is it the one? Nah. So we're just gonna hopefully place a torch here. There we go, that works. And then what we're gonna try and do 
is put trapdoors. I don't know if that kind of removes the lysing completely. Let's see. Let's let's have a let's have a try. Let's experiment. I know I, I keep using spruce trapdoors, but they're like one of the best blocks in the game right now, just because they look so awesome. Uh, how does that look? Because there's still light exiting from the server. They just look really weird. Let's just because uh, and then as well because like thinking about that, you, you jump and it's like yeah. it's like there. Um, we might as well. We'll just see what they look like, pretty much, and then we'll just see when it when it's at night time. We'll see how it all goes. So now it's night time. I'm not sure about these lights still. Like they do put off. Oh, uh, it's a little bit of light, but it's mainly up there. I'm just making sure that there's no. See, there's a light source here. We can do a torch up there. We'll do something up there, but maybe once lanterns come into the game at 1.14, we may actually change these and remove them and put lanterns hanging from the ceiling, possibly. That is a possibility. Uh, I'm just going around. I'm kind of a parent, kind of have paranoia with all this stuff. And what I did here, I'll just go back to that real quick. I did add some hay just to show that they are so greedy. They have hay in their own home just have a full stash of it and then there's a little uh treasure stash here that these pit this family has which has nothing in it as you can see so yeah just just wants to show that, the, that these guys are so greedy they're not powerful they're more of a wealthy greedy kind of class if you think about uh from what's a good what's a good example the hobbit maybe from uh lake town uh you have it's kind of the steward, not the steward, uh, the person who runs Lake Town again, uh, I almost forgot. Oh, I actually did forget. He, pretty much the main guy there, he kind of had, you know, he was really rich and the rest of the other people were kind of, you know, all farmers and, not farmers, fishermen and, uh, like, travelers and all that stuff. And they all had, like, small little homes just by the water and all that, and he had, like, a massive, uh, little, man not a mansion, kind of like a bigger house and you know it had all this like stash of gold with his boat before he got squashed by smelk and he's still here so we're gonna try and kill him uh, because I want to sleep and he's got a sword do I have a shield? shield 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 no shield I'm gonna take the iron frames and you're gonna die before any other zombies show up I want to I wanna use a shield to see how effective this is. Okay, dude. Uh, you won't be able to get from me. Actually, yeah, you won't be able to get me. Because whenever I do that trick, I always have it so it's one block, so I'm standing under here, and enemy can still hit you from here. Even though they can't actually run to you, they can still hit you. I always seem to die from that, somehow. And it's not fun. Not fun indeed. So, uh, yeah, I think most of the interior in here is practically done. Uh, I might in future add maybe a couple other things. I was thinking of doing a little clock down here, which I believe we have some redstone. We have we have the gold, definitely. Uh, I just need to see. There's a zombie. Bye, zombie. Uh, yes, there is gold. I want to make a clock. Uh, kind of like a, one of those grandfather type clocks. So we're just going to just uh, make a clock. And we're going to try a little build for that. Hopefully it works. I've n never made a clock <laughs> before. So uh, what we're going to need. I feel like we're going to use oak. Possibly oak. Possibly. Let's, let's try. Let's try this experiment yeah so we're gonna try and put it in the middle I'm thinking so we're gonna have so it kind of comes out like here and then kind of a stair and a stair and then so the item frame we're gonna have a little oh that doesn't work hmm. I was thinking of a you know a uh, 
a thing that runs down. You know, like how some, you know, you see the, uh, the thing that goes TikTok, whatever that, the, the metal rod that goes TikTok. I was thinking of doing that, but it doesn't seem that it's going to work. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to place this here. Hopefully it works. Uh, and then we're going to put a slab, sorry, torch. We're going to put that on the top, and the torch can just go above that. And then we're just going to put an item frame. No. Yes or no? We're going to put an item frame there. And then we're going to put the clock. And then we're going to put that. It, it just doesn't look like a clock. Let, let me try and just experiment with something real quickly, and I'll get back to you guys. So it may not be the greatest design, but here's what I came up with after a little bit of uh, experimenting. So what I did first, so I, I got an armor stand in there and this is a trapdoor which is facing inward. So I've placed that spruce trapdoor first and then these are trapdoors on the outside. So that explains why this carpet, this is carpet, as you can see. And what I did after that was obviously put some gold armor on. And I got an iron bar and I used a piston to push it in just to make it look like that lever thing but it's not entirely what I thought it was going to be because I thought I wanted the uh, what do you call it armor stand to kind of go in further it, it looks like way too so we could try so then you actually don't see it so that's that was the only issue so what I, I might actually just switch that to a uh, a gold helmet might make a gold helmet and see what that looks like instead and then you know after that I put some oak trapdoors just along the sides and made uh, I'll, I'll just show you real guys real quickly um, and then uh, if we can just hop over here let's just see how this looks See that that looks a lot that actually that, that looks a lot better, okay. So I added the iron bar, which is kinda like the, the lever which goes left and right. And then yeah, the oak trap doors, and then I add two more spruce trap doors on top here. And I did an upside down oak stair with an item frame and a clock, and then topped it up with a spruce uh, slab. But that that can always just be with a spruce trap door, just to make it not as fat. Which I could see how that looks. Uh if I can just have a quick look, uh, I still need to create. Where's. Uh, no, no, not like that. So we're just gonna just tidy up our stuff just real quickly. And just gonna make a trapdoor. And just place this up the top. Yeah, I think that's a lot better than what it was. It looks really... Actually, it actually does look pretty cool. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to add something here because it was a little bit, you know, bland. And it's all compact in this block, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, this is overall, I think, this is actually pretty much the majority of it. It is, like, I can call it done. It's like one of those moments where you can call it done, but... If you had other materials, you can work on it even more. Because I still need to add the uh, nether rack here and then light it. Uh, I still need to add some more stuff over here. I was thinking of maybe putting some gold as a little stash. Uh, and also up here, add some more gold or something up here. But we don't have enough gold for that. So I think at the moment, we might call it. We might call it an episode, I think. Because, uh, yeah, we, we've done the interior, which I am pretty proud of. One more thing. I'm just going to add these on the sides. Just real quick. Just, just do that. Just some more nice, more detail, just to top it off. But overall, I think this is done. Uh, in here is going to be probably some horses. Uh, or maybe some sheep, whatnot. Uh, just some farm animals. And... Other than that, like, I think we are almost done with this place. So I hope you all guys enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, we'll be working on we'll probably do one more house. And then we'll just top it off with uh, some custom trees, 
uh, the pathway, the well, which I'll try and get some stuff done off camera probably. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next episode. Good day everyone.